Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my favorite lip products. It's gonna be an array of liners, liquid lipsticks, traditional lipsticks, lip glosses, the whole gamut. I'm gonna go in order. This was a video that was requested, so thank you so much for the person who requested this video. And without further ado, let's get started. So actually, I'm gonna first start off with lip treatments. I always feel like um, you should really prep your lips and take care of your lips if you want your lipsticks, lip, liquid lipsticks, whatever you're going to put on your lips to look good. It's kind of essentially the same thing as your face. Um, so one of the first products I like to use is the um, Milani Keep It Sweet Sugar Lip Scrub. Um, this is, you can essentially use any lip scrub. You can even use brown sugar, regular sugar. You can make your own. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but this is just one that I like to use that I found at CVS. Um, it's pretty good. When I get out of the shower, I like to put it on my lips, kind of scrub it in for 30 seconds or so, and then wipe it off with like a washcloth. And my lips just feel so much softer after I do this. Plus it smells so yummy. And that's kind of what it looks like. It's a little dirty because my daughter dunked like a lip gloss or something in there. So yeah, you're gonna see a trend of that throughout my <laughs> lip products. And then after that, and I usually do it like that at night, or I'll do it in the morning, doesn't really matter, but at night I love to use um, like any, like a very thick lip, um, whether it be like Aquaphor or like a very thick lip balm or something like that, I love to use at night to just kind of like, like a treatment for my lips. So um, I really like the Glossier um, skin salve. This is in the smell coconut. I almost said shade coconut. This is in the scent coconut. I love this stuff. It's so good. You, a little goes a long way. I've had this for a while and I've barely used much of it at all. Um, literally it's like a thick, you can kind of see there. It's kind of just like a thick consistency, um, similar to an aquaphor, maybe even a little bit thicker, not as watery. And this is amazing. When I put it on my lips, at night, the next morning, my lips look so, like they just look plump, they're smooth, like the lines are smoothed out. Um, it's just a really, really great product. Um, I really like this stuff, so you should definitely check that one out. Or like I said, you can use Aquaphor, like a really thick um, lip balm, I guess. Just use that at night, or even before, while you're putting on your makeup, you can put some of that on while you're putting your makeup on to kind of like treat your lips and then wipe it off and put on a liquid lipstick. Oh my gosh, game changer. It will really help the way that your liquid lipstick applies. It's so good. Anyways, I do have a lot of products, so I'm gonna try and go as quickly as possible so this video is not an hour long. Um, so I'm gonna start with lip liners. Um, I love lip liners. I have a thing for lip liners, and I just feel like it's, like even for easy days, just pop on a lip liner, a lip gloss, and you're good to go. It lasts long. I just, I love lip liners, I don't know. Um, and I feel like you don't really need to go crazy as far as prices with lip liners. Like you don't need to go like so high end. You can find some really good drugstore options. So one of the first ones, and this is like probably my favorite out of all of them, is by Essence. This one is called In The Nude, right? Yep, In The Nude. I love this. This is such a good basic lip liner, and I'm gonna show you the shade right now. It is such a good nude lip liner. Like it is so pretty. Um, the, the formula is nice and stiff on the lips. So like, it's not going to like move around or anything like that. Like you can layer this under a lipstick, under a liquid lipstick and things aren't going to move. It's a really good, um, lip liner. And this was like a dollar 99. And a lot of times like if you go to Ulta, they'll do buy one, get one 50% off. So you can get this for like cents. I mean, I love it. Essence is a pretty good makeup brand. If you want something inexpensive, they actually have some pretty good products. Next one, um, from the drugstore as well is by Rimmel. This one is Cafe Ole. I've had this one for a while and I don't use this one as often as my in the nude one from Essence only because it's a darker lip like lip liner, so I don't use it as often, but it's a really, really pretty color. I'm gonna put it next to it. The formula is great. I would say that this one's, this is the color right there. It's such a pretty browny, reddy kind of color. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful color. You can wear this with maybe more of like a nude lipstick on top to kind of brighten it up a little bit. Like you can really play with these. That's what I love about lip liners. You can play with it. Like you, it's like a base that you can kind of alter with different lip products. I love it. Um, but this formula from Rimmel is actually a little bit more stiffer than the 
essence formula. So it is good. It's definitely gonna, it's good. It's like smooth on your lips, but it's gonna stay on there really good. So I love these two. And of course, you can't go wrong. MAC, I think, is really well known for their lip liners. They just have a great formula. They are long lasting. They're smooth on the lips. It's just, it's just really good. You can't go wrong. I mean, there's, they have a higher price tag. The other ones are a great option if you're looking for something on a lower end of the side of the budget. But this one is um, MAC is just really good. I love this color in brick. It's the MAC one in brick. I definitely use this to layer under like any red lipstick. I think it's just a good red color. Um, I really like the base of it. So um, this is very good. Mac's always good, you can't go wrong. And the last one is by Wet n Wild. This formula is a little bit different. It's definitely much more, it's actually called the Gel Lip Liner and this is the shade Bare to Comment. This is kind of one that if you want an easy day where you can just wear lip liner on its own or lip gloss you could just go out the door that kind of thing not much effort look how pretty that color is though um but yeah this is just kind of one of those products that it's very creamy it's not gonna like prolong the wear of your lipstick or anything like that but it's just like an easy thing you could pop on with a gloss and go um and they're very comfortable on the lips and like really hydrating on the lips i really do like these ones and these are like two bucks too really inexpensive okay so now we're gonna go ahead and go into traditional lipsticks I always feel like a good, like you should have a good set of traditional lipsticks because sometimes I think they're just, they're just easier to be honest. Sometimes it's easy to just pop on a lipstick and go. So one of the formulas, I feel like Tarte's really, like you're gonna see a lot of Tarte products here and I don't know why it wasn't planned. This isn't sponsored, of course, um, but they just have really good lipsticks. I mean, they just really just know how to do it. So one of, let's see, um, one of the products I'm gonna mention is this is their, Amazonian Butter Lipstick by Tarte. I don't know if they have this shade anymore. This is Park Avenue Princess. I believe they still have this formula like on their website, but I don't think they have this shade. Like I know they still have the Amazonian Butter Lipsticks, I just don't know if they have this shade anymore. I thought they were just continuing it, which I don't know why, because this is such a beautiful, look at like, look at that nub. <sighs> this is such a beautiful shade of like perfect glossy buttery nude look how pretty that is like it'll look beautiful on top of maybe like a deeper lip liner um, or even just on its own for like that no makeup makeup days um, it's so pretty it's so hydrating on the lips I've tried other colors as well and they're just as hydrating and pretty on the on the lips they're beautiful you should definitely check them out if you want something for like the daily wear where you don't wear you're not wearing as much makeup but you want to feel hydrated there this is so pretty I love that formula the next one is gonna be um, Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea lipsticks, and this is in the shade of Skinny Dip. First of all, the packaging, come on. Like, marble blue. If you know me, you know that I love marble everything. Like, I just, my kitchen is based on marble and, like, natural woods. I love it, and this just speaks to me. It's like, you know, oceany, marbly, oh, so pretty. But this formula is amazing. I need to buy more of these. As you can see, I've been using this up too. But look how pretty that shade is. This is like the perfect um, peachy nude to me. Like it's just, oh, I love it. It's so, so pretty. It like warms up the skin. Um, but, and, and it, this is like a matte formula, I believe. But it's so comfortable on your lips. It's not like this uncomfortable, like you feel like your lips are being sucked dried. It's just a comfortable matte finish on your lips. They're not like long wearing like a liquid lipstick or anything like that. This is something that you would reapply throughout the day. But they're beautiful. They're easy to use. They're very nourishing to the lips. Um, I, I love it. And that shade is just oh so pretty. This is like a pretty shade too to use a darker lip liner and you can like lighten it up. Oh, I use this one today on top of another lipstick I'm going to show you. So yes, Tarte, mm, love it. Another Tarte one, I know, I have a problem, <laughs> um, is the Lip Sculptor. I've actually had this for quite some time. I used it for a long time, then I stopped, just because you're always trying new things, and you, you know how it is. Um, and so I busted this one out again recently, and I remembered how much I loved it. This is in the shade VIP, and this is like for the girl who is on the go, who is busy, who is a mom who's in school who just needs something it's a space saver like needs something quick to go don't have to think about it this is like a duo so it has a lipstick on one side as you can see right there and then it has a lip gloss on the other side that like matches it right there so isn't that amazing like isn't that so great it's just like a space saver and a time saver it's like boom boom everything's in one i think it's genius i love it this is in the shade vip once again tart just knows lipsticks their formulas are beautiful they're always comfortable that's the shade there they're always comfortable on the lips like it's just it's beautiful i love their lipsticks i really do you should check them out um and then the lip gloss is really pretty it's a very similar shade i'm not gonna say it's like exactly 
but it's a very nice complementary shade to the lipstick. It's like it's like it's a smidge lighter, so which I think is great. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on top of that lipstick. It just kind of lightens up the, um, there it is on top of it, you kind of see, it kind of lightens up that shade um, and just gives it that beautiful, glossy, um, plumpy look. I, I absolutely love this. They have a, um, other shades too. I'm kind of hoping that they're gonna come out with more shades. They're, they have like a handful, but like I really wanna see them come out with like a huge array of shades. Similar to like the um, Rainforest lipsticks, they came out with like a ton of shades. So last lipstick, is a new one that I discovered a couple months ago. It is by Models Own. This is one that I wore in one of my previous videos. I'm not quite sure which one it is. Um, I don't know. But um, it's a beautiful, I was looking for a pretty coral shade. Um, first of all, just wanna mention, packaging, yes, glamorous, I love it. Um, and this, this is, they sell this at Ulta and it is very inexpensive. I think I got this like for four or five bucks, which is great, a great price point. And this is in the shade Coral Rose, and I believe this lipstick is called the Luxe Stick Lipstick. So I hope they're still selling these, because I did get it on sale. I don't know if that means they're just continuing it or if it was just on sale. I have no idea, but look at that shade, how pretty it is. Oh my gosh, it's like the perfect like spring summery shade. It's a perfect coral in my opinion. Sorry if I sound real weird. I've had I've been fighting allergies all weekend long. It's been insane. So that's why I sound a little stuffed. But look at that. It's just a bright, beautiful spring color. I, I just love it. I think it's so pretty. It like just brightens up your look. It's a really pretty shade. It's very comfortable. I'm not going to say it's matte. It's not shiny either. It says it's a velvet finish and I kind of agree with that. It's like it looks soft on the lips but it doesn't look matte and it doesn't look ultra shiny. So it's like that middle point. Kind of satiny I would say. So it's really really pretty. I'm definitely going to take a look more into Models Own. Let me go know if you guys want to see like a video on Models Own because I'm really curious about the brand. I really do like the, um, just the lipsticks. I think they're so pretty. So anyways, and it is very pigmented as well. It's also really comfortable on the lips as well. Like it just, it's just really pretty on the lips. Moving on to lip glosses. All right, so I've got a few lip glosses. First one I'm gonna mention is Buxom. These are the, what are they called? The full on lip cream lip glosses. These are so, so pretty. They're so comfortable on the lips. They give your lips like the va va voom glossiness. Like I, I love that look sometimes, just like the really glossy, like, um, plumpy looking lip and these ones definitely do that for you like this one's so pretty and the shade that I get the most compliments on this is my tie right here which is another kind of corally color so pretty mm, they smell like vanilla and mint which just like when you put it on you just feel like refreshed I love that and this is the shade here you can kind of see it next to the model's own lipstick um, so pr it's such a pretty color like this is a lip gloss that you can wear on its own you can put with a lip liner underneath you can layer on top of a lipstick or a liquid lipstick like you can do so much with this because it's not so opaque in color where it's like too much but it's not um, so sheer that it's like nothing like you could wear it on its own if you want to too in fact I get the most compliments when I wear it on its own like it's so pretty it just makes your look lips look so nice and it's really comfortable too. It's not like gloppy or anything. Okay, the next lip gloss is gonna be by Too Faced, the Sweet Peach um, Lip. I think they're called Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. These are so, so pretty. Um, this is in the shade Papa Don't Peach. First of all, the scent, mm, peaches, like peach vibes all the way. And this color, I just, mm, like I need to buy more of these for sure. Look at that color. Yes, so me, I love a good, nude with like a tinge of brown in it like oh I love it it's like perfect mixture of brownie peachy nude I don't know it's so pretty and look how cute that little guy is isn't he so cute little peach I love this shade it's absolutely beautiful and these lip glosses oh my gosh they feel amazing on the lips this is one of those lip glosses like this is more opaque than the buxom one this is like one that you can wear on its own and it looks like you have a full-blown lip like lipstick on but it's like shiny or you can layer it. It's so comfortable. You can layer it like on top of a lip liner or something like that. The only thing I wouldn't layer this on top of is a liquid lipstick. And I will tell you why. Because this has oil in it. So it's very nourishing for the lips, which is great. But when you kind of mix it with a liquid lipstick, it kind of gets blotchy. It's, it's not a good look. I've tried it. It's not great for that. Um, I would definitely stick with more of like a buxom to do something like that. But this is such a great oil to use on its own, like lip gloss, whatever you want to call it, to use on its own, or you can layer it like on top of a, um, a lip liner too. I love this. They feel great on your lips. And when you use these, like your lips, you can tell they are actually nourished. Like they actually feel like they're nourished after you're done using them. Like 
it's, it's a great formula. I love it. And then under the same lip gloss is Tarte again. I know this is actually their glossy lip paint. This is a deluxe sample that I have. And this is in the shade Goals. Oh my gosh. I, I have basically used this whole thing up. I need to buy the full size of this one, especially this shade. It is so, look at that shade. It's like that perfect rosy shade. If you can see it there. Um, it's so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. Like it's, these feel so, I don't know. Tarte just knows how to do lipsticks. It's like, I don't really hear much about their lip products that much. Like I don't hear people raving about it, but like they really know how to do lipsticks, lip products, like, but like in a comfortable way where it's not like, it doesn't feel like you just like are sucked to life. I don't know. They just know how to do it. And this lip, this lip paint or lip gloss, whatever you want to categorize it as, um, is perfect to wear on its own. Like I said, layered on top of a lip liner or a lipstick to give it that glossy look. Like it's just perfect. This is like one to just have to just where you can do so many things. Oop, I lost it. This is a great product to have where you can just do so many different looks and it's so pretty and I love the color and I definitely want to buy this in full size and a few other colors. It's awesome. And then the last one, this is a drugstore one. This is by Maybelline. This is the Color Jolt and this is in the shade Stripped Down. These are so pretty. My only grime about the whole thing is that they don't have many shades unless they came out with more. I don't know. I went to go look and I didn't see anything, but these are just like so, so easy to use. Um, smells like candy or like some something fruity um and they're just so comfortable on the lips like they feel like a higher end lip product I, they really really do these are like seven bucks six or seven bucks look at the shade there i'm sorry look how pretty that shade is it has a little bit of a purpley undertone but not much um it's it's so so pretty this is, looks so beautiful on the lips it gives you that glossy lip look um, but it's just so, but like more like put together. I don't know. I love it. They're so comfortable on the lips and this is definitely one to check out. I just hope they come out with more colors. Maybelline come out with more colors. I love this stuff. Last but not least liquid lipsticks. So liquid lipsticks for me are difficult because it's just, so it's like you have to find that perfect formula that works for you because some, they can be gloppy. They can be sticky. They can be like, you can get that, you know, that ring in your inner you know, mouth, whatever it's called, that's gross that nobody likes. That happens to me all the time. These are the few that I just love that I've had the greatest success with. And the first one I'm going to mention is a drugstore one that I love. Like I love it is the wet and wild liquid cat suit matte li mega last matte lipstick. Yes. Can you tell that I love it? I have all these shades. I want to buy more. I kind of just want to buy them all. They're only $4.99, five bucks. And that's like, if you can't get them on sale, like that's five bucks, regular price. They're beautiful. I'm going to swatch them for you. Um, I just, I love the way they feel. I'm just gonna talk about the formula really quickly before this video goes on forever. They are comfortable on the lips. They're not too thick where it's just like gloppy and sticky. Um, but they're just, there's like that perfect consistency where it's just nice and comfortable on the lips. You can put a nice thin layer. You can add another layer, like they're buildable. Um, they don't give you that inner ring in your mouth. They also, um, wear really nicely. So as they wear throughout the day, they're pretty long lasting. I've, I've used these for months and months and months and I've eaten with them. I've had things to drink with them. I've worn them all day and they wear off so nicely. Like it's just like they slowly fade off. It's not a thing where it's like they start peeling or gloppy or anything like that. Like they wear so nicely. I highly, highly recommend these. You guys need to go right now, Walgreens, CVS, wherever they sell Wet n Wild, Target, pick yourself up one of these or a couple if you're feeling generous. Try them out, so good, so good. Really great formula and what I love about them too is it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything on your lips. Sometimes I'll put liquid lipsticks on and I'm just like, like you feel like you're like, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't feel heavy on your lips. Last liquid lipstick is by NARS. This is a deluxe sample I got at Sephora. And this is the power matte lip pigment in the color star woman, which is a really pretty red. Now here's what I'm going to say about this. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this and I don't know why, because this product is, I love it. Like I gotta admit, I really, really do like it. Um, when I got it as a deluxe sample, the guy's like, oh, you're going to love this lip, you know, liquid lipstick. It's a really nice matte formula. And I was like, okay. So I walked out and I went to try it on. I swatched it because I get so impatient. And I looked at the doe foot applicator and this is what it looks like. And I'm like, what is that? Like, how do you, what, how does it hold product? And then I swatched it and I'm going to show you here. First of all, like one swipe pigment, insane, insane pigment. It's a really pretty blue red formula, which I think is great for a lipstick because it will go with 
any skin tone, the whitest, whitest person to the darkest, darkest person. It will match anybody's skin tone. So I love that about a blue red. Plus it'll make your teeth look really white. But anyways, I went and I swatched it and I'm like, what? It's so liquidy. It's like water. It's like water when you swatch it. And I'm like, there's no way that this is a matte liquid lipstick. Like, how is that even possible? It's so thin guys. That's what's the magic in this product. And it's not, I want to, I want to correct myself. It's not like a liquid lipstick where it's like long wearing, like it wears for a while, but not to the point where it's transfer proof. Maybe it's just the red one. I haven't tried the other colors, but it's not like transfer proof or like, you know, you can kiss in your hand or whatever. And it's not, it's, it's going to, you're going to see pigment, a little bit of pigment. So, but anyways, um, it ended up drying down on my hand and I absolutely love, like when you wear this on your lips, I wore this in one of the tutorials for, it was a new year's Eve tutorial and you guys can kind of see it there. I'll link it somewhere up here so you can take a look at it. But it's so pretty guys. It is just like this. It feels it, this literally like the wet and wild ones literally feel like you're not, you're not wearing anything on your lips. Like it feels very comfortable. This feels like nothing. It feels like absolutely nothing on your lips. And that's the genius in the such liquidy formula that it just soaks into your lips, almost in a sense, stains your lips in a way. Um, not that it's transfer proof or anything like that, or not that it won't move around, but to the point where it's comfortable, it's matte, you can still eat with it. You can, you know, do your regular life with it, but it's just not like permanent. Like a liquid lipstick is like budge, budge proof. It's so comfortable. I love the way these look on your lips. It's so good guys. You seriously need to check this one out. Go to Sephora or Ulta, I think sells them too. Swatch them on your hand. They're so, so pretty. What I do like to do with this color, and I feel like this formula just needs it because it's so liquidy. Um, I like to use a lip liner. So of course I use the Mac brick because that's my red lip liner that I have. Um, but with any of the other colors, I definitely recommend a lip liner. It doesn't have to match perfectly, but something to help barrier it because it is so liquidy. But once you've got it on, oh my gosh, so beautiful. It looks so amazing on the lips. Like I love it. It's really good. So that's it guys. Look at that. <laughs> you can see I've got like a certain vibe that I like in my lip products. So you guys know in case I get any questions in the comments, my lip combo is, where am I here? Okay. I use the Essence lip liner in, in the nude. And then on top of that, I use a little bit of the Tarte Lip Sculptor in VIP, but I just used the lipstick part right here. So I put a little bit of that on on top. And then to kind of brighten it up a little bit to kind of um, make sure it wasn't too deep or too dark, um, I went in with Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea lipsticks in Skinny Dip, this one here. So I kind of just like patted this a little bit in the center and that kind of, and just smudged it out with my finger and that really helped um, kind of brighten up the look and give me a custom shade that I was looking for. Seriously, that's it guys. <laughs> I know it was a lot, I'm so sorry, but these are truly the products that I have been loving, that I have been using. I love lip products, I just do. I think it really makes a look. Like I used to, and to think, years ago, I used to never wear any lip products. I would just do my whole glam makeup thing and no lip products. I just didn't like it. And now I can't even like go out the door. Like I need something on my lips. Like I just love the way it looks. I think it really, um, I think it just really like frames your face beautifully. Like it draws attention to your face. I just, I love it. Um, but these products are truly ones that I have been using, that I have been loving, and I think they're great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again to the person who requested this video. If you guys have any videos that you want to see me do, please leave a comment down below. I, I want to do content that you guys want to see as much as I want to see. So um, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And remember to subscribe to my channel. In my next video, I'm going to do a giveaway because we, we finally got to 100 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I'm so excited with the love and support on my channel and how quickly it's kind of snowballing. It's really exciting to see and to kind of grow with you guys. And you guys are always going to be the original family. So thank you so much for that love and support. But anyways, I'll leave the mushy stuff to my giveaway video. Okay guys. So tune in on Thursday. If you want to see what I'm giving away and how to enter, you know, the whole shebang, the whole thing. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away.